All right, so here we are, pedal board, amps, kind of mm -hmm. take us through the whole enchilada. Yeah, I'll run you, I'll just do a quick run through the signal chain. So sure. first off, we have the Vox Wah pedal. I think this is a newer one, uh, but inside the guts, it's this guy that custom made it, and he made an actual Clyde McCoy circuit with like the tropical fish caps and all that oh, stuff. Oh, really? And the halo inductor. Uh, really cool. So it sounds deep totally nerd, legit. deep nerd. Oh yeah, stuff. this guy's yeah. legit, man. He's legit. Uh, I can't think of his name right now, but I'll get it to you because you, you guys, know, you definitely. Somebody in the comments. What's his name? Venus. 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 Okay. There we go. That's a good. All right, good. So here you go. Yeah, my guy. So the Venus Wichwa is like you know, if you can't get your hands on a real Clyde McCoy, yeah. this is the closest thing you're gonna get. I have two originals, and they sound incredible. But out on the road, this thing, you wouldn't know the difference. Yeah. Um, and you've always been a, a quarter inch cable guy, never. Yeah, no, I've done some wireless, right? Uh -huh. Like I've done some wireless rigs, but you know, I found that it compresses the signal. Yeah. I mean, it's great when you want to like. some people like, yeah. Well, for me, I, I want it to sound as real and analog and connected as possible. Sure. And so, you know, mentally I had a hard time getting beyond the whole wireless thing. Yeah. But it's, you know, when you open up for the Rolling Stones, it's great to be able to run, to have such a big stage. It's yeah. great to be able to run over there and play for those people. Right. Because I did it the first time I played with them, and I had a, like, I don't know, a 30-foot guitar cable, and I <laughs> ran that way, and my guitar cable came flying out of my guitar in front of 80,000 people. Yeah, right. So that's, after that is when I started using a wireless. Yeah, yeah, right. But I kind of brought, worked my way back towards just using cables all the time. Um, so, yeah, we got the Vox. Well, the next thing in the line is probably the Octavia. Um, so we got the Octavia, that's a Roger Mayer spaceship Octavia. That is the sound uh, for Blue on Black. That's yeah, the guitar solo go. for Blue on Black. Uh, then the Analog Man, King of Tone, which to me is like the most, you know, that's the go-to overdrive. If I'm gonna go sit in with somebody, I think I need a pedal. If I'm gonna do anything, I've got that pedal with me. Yeah. And what's cool is it's got two channels. You can set it independently. One's a high gain, one's a lower gain. Uh, it's pretty transparent, but it's got everything you need. And if you're in a really bad situation and your amp's really not cutting it, then you can just stack those on top of each other yeah. and get as much you know, sustain and drive out of the pedal as you'll probably ever need. Sure. Uh, so it's a good cheat for that kind of stuff. Um, then we're gonna have the, uh, well actually from the, from the WAH, we probably went into the Univibe because Univibe signal is always best at the very beginning of the signal chain. So this Univibe, actually my guitar tech, Dustin, makes these. This is called the Sir Henry. And I'm gonna, when I say painstakingly recreating Univibes, oh, yeah. this guy takes it to another level. We were actually, before you arrived, we were talking about the whole thing. And yeah, yeah that, is, that so, is deep nerd. It, it is. <laughs> and I mean, he's like having parts manufactured like that don't exist right now <laughs> to try and get the actual correct sound, you yeah. know, because it's really hard to do. And I have some originals. I have one that allegedly was owned by Hendrix and they're, they're delicate things you know right. they can break really easily this thing has been road tested no, it's good. and it has the sound so you want a univibe that's going to hold up and you don't have to worry about like thousands and thousands of dollars you know uh getting banged around on the road this is the way to the go sir henry yeah All right. sir henry um then we've got the analog man by chorus it's kind of like the king of tone in a chorus pedal so it has two independent uh channels basically and you can i use it for like a leslie sound so yeah. i'll have a, a high speed and a slow speed um and i really only use certain like most of these pedals only get used on like one or two songs sure specifically yeah pretty much your tone is yeah it's guitar and it's, amp yeah and then guitar and amp and king of tone yeah um so the chorus is there for like one or two songs, but it's a great sounding unit. And especially if you don't want to carry around like one of those vibratones or something like yeah. that, Leslie speaker. Then we have free the tone delay pedal. The cool thing about this is, is it looks really confusing. Yeah. It's kind of overwhelming, yeah. but you can program it and you can get it exact. You can really go down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I get overwhelmed and have to walk away from it, come right. back to it. But I have gotten some really great delay sounds. And again, I'm not a guy that, you won't hear delay on my guitar rig all the time. It's yeah. like on one or two songs. Yeah, it's like, I don't even hear verb on your guitar yeah. rig a lot. Well, you it's know, that's right. Pretty and dry. So I had to actually, because of the amps that Dumble's been, had been making for me, uh, none of them had reverb in them. Yeah. And so I ended up getting the Free the Tone reverb pedal. Okay. In case I want to do like a really back alley blues thing and yeah, I yeah. need that reverb sound yeah. and then I'll kick that thing on. Um, and so otherwise, uh, oh, and I have the uh, the Klon. So this is the Gen 2 Klon. It's the Klon reissue. 
in the smaller housing. I have an original, I have like one of the earliest made uh, original Klons. I think it's like serial number 31 or 33. Wow. Um, but obviously that one's at home and this one sounds great. Um, so that kind of rotates between a TS-808 or the Klon. But that's it. Then we have this uh, radial thing, and this is basically just splitting out to the three different amps that we have back there, and you know, with very minimal signal loss. And that's it. I mean, that's that's the deal. We have the Voodoo Lab switching system, and that's just so I'm not tap dancing all the time. Sure. So there's no like really like crazy trickery going on. It's just like here's my blue on black rhythm sound, so that kicks on the Univibe for me, and then I want to hit the solo and it automatically turns on the Octavian, the delay that's preset oh, for the tempo great. for the song. I mean, you know what a switching system is. And yeah. It just kind of makes your life a little bit easier. Yeah, and keeps that signal a little more pure. And, right. Yeah, that's great.